Thank you for joining us again. There is a lot of turmoils in our country in recent days. One other thing is into introduction of certain doctrines and policies into uh, schools and teaching kids about so many different things with uh, under the umbrella of tolerance and and you know respect for others and so on and so forth well I don't want to get political in terms of that because that's I don't want to deal with politics but first of all I do believe that the schools are there to give people education and that is to make sure first of all the kids know how to read and write and do math and expand their educational capacities for example it can't be that the kid is in eighth grade or ninth grade and they still cannot read that happens all the time however it's done under the assumption that that's going to give us tolerance and and control to others and I was thinking I said do really kids need to know about gender and all kind of gender identity at like I don't know, first grade third grade fourth grade I mean really they don't they don't need to know that they don't even they're not even interested in that and by doing so we kind of indoctrinating our kids through a certain political thing and it doesn't achieve anything even if, let's say it's a good idea to teach dollars but at this point is pointless However, I think in the way that we are going as a society is completely pointless, and I'll explain to you why. Well, first of all, I think the kids need to be taught discipline. Unfortunately, what we do is we take all the responsibility as parents and we dump it in schools and we expect the schools to do their job, our job, that we don't do. But don't forget the teachers, our parents also, and I'm not sure that as parents they do what they're supposed to do. So if they don't do what they're supposed to do as teachers, how do I expect them to do what I need to do as a parent when I don't do it? So that's first of all. Discipline is very important. However, discipline, you, know, you can argue that discipline is, uh, well, uh, Germany had discipline. And look what happened with them. So for that, let's look at Hebrew. Hebrew is the holy language, and it carries more than just words and letters, carry more than just like fanatical, phonetics and, and just the compilation of words. There's meaning to that. So in Hebrew, the word discipline is called mishmat. Mishmat. Mishmat has the same root as mashmaut, meaning. And Mishmat, Adam Memushma, is a disciplined person, also has the root of Shama, is willing to hear. And yeah, I was thinking, I said, before I give the kids the willingness to hear the other person, we need to hear the other person. We need to hear the other side's arguments as well, even if we don't agree with them. A discussion always needs to happen. Laws needs to be obeyed, but a discussion always needs to happen. So if you want me to hear the other side, I need to have the discipline to do so. Lishmoa, I need to have mishmat, discipline to hear and not to abruptly cut you every time you say something without hearing the full sentences you have to say. Because at that point, I'm not interested in listening to you or hearing what you have to say. I'm going to try to overpower you by cutting you short and raising my voice to overwhelm you. And therefore, there's no discussion. And therefore, it falls apart. Whether it's a society, whether it's a partnership at home, or whatever it is. However, in order for me to hear the other side, 
And to have the discipline to do that, I need, first of all, to have meaning. So in, in how, can I, how can you expect me to educate my kid to hear the other side if I live meaningless life? What's the meaning of what we're doing? So in, instead of teaching first graders, elementary school students, sexual education, with all the perversions that come along with that, why won't we just teach our kids to have meaning in their lives, to have discipline in their lives? And the, the meaning is the balancing factor of discipline, because discipline could be like North Korea. But they indoctrinated their people to the point that even if Kim Jong mentally ill is not going to be there anymore, there's still going to be a whole nation of like loonies because they've been brainwashed. Discipline needs to be restrained. Discipline is the din. Judgment, hard, discipline. But meaning is the chesed that overwraps it and keeps it under control. The problem with our generation, the problem with our society is lack of meaning. And unfortunately, there are forces out there to the right, to the left, to the middle, to up, to whatever it is. But there are forces and elements out there that simply want you and us to have meaningless life. And when we have meaningless lives, we will have to go for whatever they sell us and that's going to be whatever else people offer out there. We need to have a structure. And the first thing that there was done to remove meaning from our lives is to remove the structure of religion. After religion was removed as a structural, as a structural force, then the structure of family integrity was removed, and then personal integrity as we see it today. Therefore, we must advocate to first of all stop this political ping pong and overwhelming one another. It's not in your hands. And you cannot have freedom when it's not in your hands. So in order to be free, you need to be disciplined. And first of all, you have to have a meaning in your life. We need to increase the meaning in our lives and to increase the meaning in somebody else's lives and then we can hear one another and can live in harmony. Have a beautiful day.